Because when you look around, don't it look peaceful? Look at this. Look, look, look at my view right now. Not even a stalker in sight. This is beautiful. But sooner or later, probably somebody's going to come from out of these bushes or some shit. But hopefully they don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, it's uh, that's what they mean by the illusion. Because, look, illusion, that's a word that gets thrown around like God and love. You know what I'm saying? It just gets tossed around. People don't really, really understand it, though. But this is what it means when it said that this is all the illusion. You look at the world, it looks like it's a beautiful fucking place. Not saying that the world isn't a beautiful place. The world is. But what it is, it's been hijacked. The planet has been hijacked by some wicked ass vampires and archons and gargoyles or some shit that, that done took over the damn planet. And guess what? Their eyes is on you. They don't realize that, hey, we need this planet. And at the same time, we need your monkey ass to stay ignorant so that way we can feast off of you because you ain't nothing but an energy source. You ain't nothing but a battery. And that's the reason why that's the reason why Morpheus um, gave told Neo that this is what they're trying to turn you into. And he showed them a battery because they need your energy. They cannot exist without your energy. They cannot survive without your energy. Just like that mosquito needs your blood. The beast needs your blood. You know what I'm saying? Just like, I mean, come on, man. I mean, won't you, won't you realize it? Because it's not a good or bad thing. It is what it is. Just like just like when you look at a cow or, or a pig, if you eat swine or turkey or whatever, whatever whatever meat that you eat, somebody just pulled up over there, you know what I'm saying? They were there, you know. But um, just like, you know, if you, um, if you eat meat or whatever, you know what I mean? You're not thinking about, oh, man, that's, that's a shame, man. This guy got this cow. He all dead in the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're not thinking about that. When you when you at a, a steakhouse, an outback steakhouse, whatever, you know, if you going to get a burger or whatever, man, you're going, you going, you going to jack that burger up. You're going to eat it up, man. You're not thinking about, oh, this, this, this cow done lost his life for me. No, you're not thinking like that. So you you don't have no pity for that cow. If you had pity for the for the animal, then you will be a vegan. You know what I'm saying? You will be a vegan. If you had pity for the animal, I ain't see nobody crying at Wendy's. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. So let's just let's stop faking the funk. You know what I mean? Let's keep it real. So it's the same way you don't have no remorse for that animal. It's the same way the beast ain't got no remorse for your fucking ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't got no. He don't give a damn. So you can't be like, oh, man, y'all so evil. Why you doing this to me? Why you doing this to me? Shut your crying ass up. They don't give a damn. It is what it is. What the, what the, uh, he said, we talk about polarities. That's what Bobby say. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not about good and evil. It's not about right or wrong. It is what it is. It's a life source. I need you, motherfucker. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. If you was out, if you, if we was, you ever watched that show called, um, um, what was it called? Um, Naked and Afraid with them people out there, man, the bush naked and afraid, <laughs> you know what I mean? Getting attacked by all types of insects and mosquitoes and stuff. And, and, and they gotta, you know, they gotta find food and, and stuff like that. And, you know, I seen them find little frogs and shit, man. Look, when, when you, when you starving to the point where you ain't got nothing to eat. You know how weak you start to become? You see what I'm saying? You know how weak you start to become, man? You ain't giving a... Man, look, you don't... You looking at whatever you can... You would eat that damn bee if you had to. Because hunger is a motherfucker. I mean, and we, we talk... We talk that we talk that crap because, you know, we, 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 we have an abundance of food out here. Well, you know, not really real food, but GMO. You know what I'm saying? But you can still go. At least, look, at least the food might be GMO. But guess what? If if it came down to like an apocalypse, at least you can survive off of, you know, it, it going to kill you later. But at least, hey, if you had to, if you had nothing else to eat, at least you can eat some McDonald's or something if it was still around. Uh, too, too bad in Texas, though, when that ice storm came, they shut everything down. They didn't even have McDonald's to go to. Not even a Burger King or nothing like that. So they was out there hungry. 
You know what I'm saying? But but my point is, what I'm saying is that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether, whether, whether you know, it ain't no such thing as no good and evil. You can't be like, oh, man, the beast is just cruel and evil. Because guess what? They don't give a fuck just like you didn't give a fuck when you ate that cow. You know what I'm saying? When it, come, when it comes to being naked and afraid, you're not, you not caring about nothing. That's the same dickhead that just left. He came back with his red shirt. You know what I mean? He was he was just here. He just, he just, he left and came, but he told that dumbass boy to come back. But anyway, um, but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like when it comes to being naked and afraid, if you out here in the jungle and you gotta eat, you're gonna kill a snake, you will kill a frog, you will kill a, a bug, whatever. You will eat to survive. You need that energy. Because the moment you don't get no carbs, no proteins, and no types of nutrition in the body, the body gets weak and the body starts to de decay. And that's just that's that's what makes this life so fucked up. Because because something has to die in order for something else to live. That's the fucked up thing about this matrix. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gotta be a sacrifice. They say Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice for humanity, but that was just some um, a story. You know what I mean? But what I'm trying to tell you is that you know. In order for you to survive down here, something has to die. And that's why I say it's messed up. That's why, you know what I'm saying? But this is a beautiful planet, but it's been hijacked by some evil people. And they're running the show right now. Or maybe not. Maybe they're not running the show. Maybe maybe that's a fib. Maybe maybe that's, what, that's what's being uh, programmed in our minds to have us thinking that they're really running the show. Fuck that. I'm running the goddamn show. They ain't running shit. The only thing they running is their damn miles. The only thing they running is these punk ass motherfucking stalkers right there with the red shirts. That's the only people. That's the only thing they running. They running them. They ain't running me. I just watched the adjustment bureau the other day again, and um, I wanted to speak about that. I'm, I'm still gonna speak about it whenever I get a chance. I, I swear to goodness, man, if you're not being targeted, if you don't know anything about street theater. And, 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 and entities controlling your life, you would not understand Adjustment Bureau, man. The people, the directors of that movie, I don't, I don't you know what I'm saying? I, would, I wish I could even, them birds were getting it on. Oh, I wish I could even talk to the directors, but like, what made you make this movie? Like, were you being targeted or something? Because how, how do you make a movie like this? Like, even with the Truman Show, how do you make a movie like this? You know what I'm saying? To, for it to be so damn real, and 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 you I mean obviously they know that somebody out here is living this life. Somebody out here is going through what the boy was going through in Adjustment Bureau. Uh Truman Show was going through in, in, in that movie. Uh the game, whatever, whatever movie you want to name, you know what I'm saying? Um I, 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 it's a lot of movies that I could that can that I can relate to. Like if like um some people watch the movie Adjustment Bureau, like my boy, I I, I know you watched the movie Adjustment Bureau, but trust me. Trust me, you not you don't understand that movie like I understand it, because because you're not living that life. You see what I'm saying? The shit that was in that movie, you would in order for you to understand that movie, you would really have to go through it. You know what I mean? You would have to go through it. You're not you're not really going to understand. I told, told this and this and somebody <laughs> they come out of the bush somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> with a with, with a book bag on and a day Saturday. No, the day Friday. My bad. My bad. It ain't Saturday. It's Friday. You know what I mean, but um, but yeah, man, that's that's the shit I'm talking about. Like, in order for you to understand something really, really good, you have to go through it. You have to go through it. You gotta, you got, and that, that's that's the only way you really, really understand it. Another until then, it'd just be a fucking movie. You know what I'm saying? So, what's going on? How you doing? You just came out of nowhere, man. <laughs> huh? I hear you. Oh yeah, surprise, right? <laughs> you too, man. Take care. Motherfucker just said surprise. <laughs> but see, man, look, man, don't get jealous at me, man, because y'all not special like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, don't get jealous, man. Don't get jealous because they don't send agents around you 24-7, popping out of bushes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't get jealous, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't tapped in. You ain't you ain't tapped in yet. That's why they ain't worrying about you. But they say the devil don't bother his own. 
You know what I mean? You got to, you got to, look, man. You got to examine yourself. If, if you're not going through anything, then obviously you're not growing. If you're, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not going, th look, look, in order to build muscles, you know what it takes to build muscles, especially if you're natural. I'm not even talking about people that do steroids. That's one thing, but they still got to put in the work. But, but for the natural ones, it's even, even harder for us because, you know, you natural, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you you your your body is limited. You know what I'm saying? You're not really gonna you're not gonna accomplish no gains like Arnold or Ronnie Coleman and shit like that because you're natural. But my point is what I'm saying is it takes pressure, it takes sweat, it takes blood, tears to build muscle. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So 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 in other words, what I'm saying is that it, it takes it takes pressure. What is it? Pressure breaks pipes. You know what I'm saying? So so it's it's the same with it's the same with everything else like in life like like in, in like in, in in order to in order to build muscle you need pressure right you need pain you need you know what I'm saying you got to you know you got to you got to uh you need uh what's the word everybody like to use um um hypertrophy you know what I'm saying you need that right so it's the same with 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 your spiritual journey you need pressure you need pain you're going to have to go through it you're going to have to you're going to have to you're going to cry sometimes you're going to you're going to you're going to feel lonely you're gonna you're gonna you know go through whatever whatever you got to go through you know what I'm saying because it's pressure and pain life is all about pressure and pain like i said myself pressure and pain pressure and pain no preseason training but you're stuck in this game you know what i mean so so this is a game and we're stuck in it until death comes you know what i mean and a lot of motherfuckers come right back to this motherfucker and got to do it all over again just like you flunk flunk in sixth seventh grade and you got to do it all over again because you ain't do your homework so now you're mad Cause everybody out here is having fun on summertime, and you you in summer school, you on you on the inside looking out. Now I mean you still in class. It's ninety degree weather outside. You mad in the mud. So what I'm what I'm trying to tell you is that if you're not going through anything spiritually, then, then obviously the devil ain't worried about you. The beast like all right got his ass. You know what I mean? He, he you know what I'm saying he, he he lost. He caught up in the matrix. He home watching wrestling. He home watching basketball. You know what I mean? He had the he had the bars fighting. He had the clubs fighting. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know the beast ain't worried about you. But if you up here talking like me, trying to wake up people, trying to wake up humanity, trying to save souls, trying to trying to sow seeds, man, the beast is on your motherfucking ass like wet paint. Flies on shit. White on rice. You know what I mean? So, so you got to take that into consideration. Look at yourself. If you, if if you if if everything is all good in your world, then you need to check yourself. <laughs> even though even though I always say everything is all good, you know what I'm saying? I say because in Romans eight twenty eight, for all things work together for for it said for all things work together for good to those that love God. So how I see it, when I see my gang stalkers, when I see these agents coming around me, guess what? Guess what? Only thing they doing is helping me get closer to who I fucking really am. I am that I am. That's the only thing they doing. Because if it wasn't for them, then I ain't no time. I probably would still probably even be in the world playing around and shit. But since, since I've been going through this shit, they allow me to start. I'm, I'm a man. Look, I done bought books. I'm a man. Look, I ain't spent no money on books before. I'm buying books, reading books, studying, watching, listening to two, three, four hour documentaries online, getting this knowledge why it's free. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You know what I mean? So, you know, shit is deep. Shit is real deep, man. So I'm gonna end this lecture right now, man. I hope that uh, you know, I just wanted to ramble, man. That's all. I just just let the spirit just speak through me. So get your butt up, get on outside, take your shoes off, walk in nature, walk in grass, touch some touch a tree branch. You know what I mean? Kiss a tree branch, something, cause this is what you are. From dust we came and dust shall we return. Holla at your boy, DB, Gang Stalk Assimilation, Truth in Plain Sight. And I got another channel too, I just started it. It's called, Ma it's called what is it called, Magnetite, Magnet to Money. So if y'all if y'all trying to get the bag, you trying, trying to change your frequency, go subscribe to that channel right now. Let's, let's go see if this guy is still over here. Let's go see where this guy at. Where you at, buddy? You over here, you over here spying still? Where you over here spying, man? He over there somewhere. But y'all keep your heads up, man.
BB baby, I'm out.